what's up everybody i am back with another video and this is going to be kind of a little bit of a different video special video bonus video whatever you want to call it but it is going to be another versus i'm going to probably be pushing out versus videos for the next couple of months but <laughs> this one's cool um because I know how y'all are about y'all y'all products and equipment and tools. And I want to do a versus with probably two of the most. No, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. Two detangling tools that uh, are going around. Um, it's not a tangle teaser brush. It's nothing like that. But <laughs> I wanted to do a versus between the Felicia Leatherwood brush and the easy detangler brush now the felicia leatherwood brush is the older of the two made by felicia leatherwood um the purpose of the brush is for it to have flexible flexible teeth i got this brush i got this felicia leatherwood brush back in february of 19. Uh, i think i ordered it february 6th it got here February 13th. Um, it, she is based in the United States, so it didn't take long to get to me. Um, this brush <laughs> comes packaged like this. Obviously, I've had this over years, so I don't have the package anymore, but uh, it's come packaged like this. They have pink, <laughs> black, and um, teal, which is the color I got. Teal, aqua, whatever you want to call this. The pink is not a pink. It's more of a magenta, <laughs> hot pink, if you will. I don't, I don't know, but it's not necessarily pink. All right, this brush was twenty dollars, free shipping. All right, and I want to show you, like, this is the teeth. I'm having to actually move the teeth. These are not. When I first bought the brush, I thought that they would be more flexible than what they are, but they still are pretty flexible. I like using this versus the Demon versus a wide tooth comb. I like using this. Uh, you'll pretty much see me using this. I was using paddle brushes for a while and then I kind of realized that the paddle brushes or the, the types of paddle brushes I was using was causing my hair to break off, which is why I cut my hair um, last year. Um, I, I had a break in between some videos and when I came back, I told you I was getting ready to cut my hair and you could see how see-through, it was the Cream of Nature video with the charcoal line. My hair was so see-through. <laughs> And I realized that that was because of the type of brush I was using at the time. So I stopped using it and I'm back where I am right now. So anyway, uh, this is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Her logo or imprint or whatever is on the brush. This is the brush. Now, <laughs> this is the Easy Detangler brush. I just got it in the mail. Is it? I got the same color. They have the same colors. This, <laughs> um, this came from China. I ordered this brush March 30th or March 31st and I didn't get it until again this past Thursday which would have been April 30th or something like that. So it took a month to get to me. That could very well be due to coronavirus delaying a lot of people's shipments or I mean usually when I order off eBay and it's not a pandemic going on it still takes a long time to get your stuff when it's coming from China. So could be due to coronavirus, could just be a normal thing because it's typically a normal thing anyway. Um, so 30 days <laughs> to get to me. They have other stuff on their website, but that's how Chinese websites are. Um, that's not nothing racist. <laughs> that's just, that's how Chinese websites are. They sell beauty supply stuff. That's just what happens. Um, so this is my first time taking this out the box. I saw these um, promos and ads on Facebook. Um, I don't think I particularly saw this company on Instagram. I will talk about another company that I saw on Instagram, but this is the, the company that I saw on Facebook. Um, now these teeth, I don't have to do no work to make them flexible. They're, they're flexible. Like even shaking it, you can see the flexibility in it. <laughs> And so that's kind of what made me get it is because these are genuinely flexible. I This is not, this is, I have to put effort into moving these teeth. No effort into moving these teeth. Um, again, they have teal or aqua. They call it blue on their website. Again, Chinese websites. That's kind of how things are. <laughs> this is blue on their website. Teal on Felicia Leatherwell's website. 
but if you look at it this is more blue than this but you know whatever <laughs> so they have a pink brush which is actually pink not magenta and they have a black brush and then they have like this i think a travel size brush or something that's a different color i don't know I, whatever <laughs> um and then here's their logo easy detangler this comes with um um this is some type of lock-in mechanism i guess it takes out some flexibility like if you want some stiffness in the brush i'm not gonna put it on just trust me on it that's what it's for <laughs> um from what i was reading if you want the most stiffness use the clip on the bottom line if your hair is thick and coarse okay i guess that's the bottom line okay so i got it mixed up if you if your hair is thick and coarse and i guess you want the most stiffness you put it down here less stiffness up here i probably won't be using it like that because i want to see it flexible all the way um it has directions all over you know you know you know you know uh this brush is thicker has a thicker handle and it has this vent behind it this one doesn't have that and this has a thinner handle so if you're someone whose hand is a little bit more sensitive um you know you might prefer this one you know if you like more a little bit more you know control maybe this one but this one also is thinner so it, that might be uncomfortable for you the vent part i don't necessarily know why <laughs> they have a vent but the teeth are curved on here i mean you can see differences there's clear differences it's not like they completely bit off of felicia leatherwood but definitely the flexibility part they bit <laughs> Before I get into actually using these, I want to also talk about this other company that I saw on Instagram. Um, again, depending on what kind of social media you use, you might see this one, you might see the other one. I don't know, but Curltastic Company is what I saw on Instagram. I'll insert some clips. Now they, their brush looks exactly like this one. Like, eh. You can see the you can see the difference in these two, but this easy detangler brush versus curl tastic, exactly the same. Like I cannot tell no difference, <laughs> um, other than their logo like, not being on it. But don't got nothing to do with me. I'm not the one making the brush, <laughs> but um, their brush is sixteen dollars. This easy detangler brush I bought was fourteen ninety five, free shipping no taxes so twenty dollars fourteen ninety five sixteen dollars on curl tastic all all free shipping no taxes on none of them so it depends on what you want how fast you want to get it whatever so now i am about to use both of these and give my thoughts on them i already have conditioner in my hair what conditioner I'm using, it's neither here nor there. If you watch my videos, you might know anyway. <laughs> but uh, I am going to do the Felicia Leatherwood brush on this side. And I'm going to do the Easy Detangler brush on this side. I have not combed my hair, brushed my hair, washed my hair, done anything to my hair in the last three weeks. So this is going to be legitimate. <laughs> so I'm going to section my hair off some. Like what I like about the Felicia Leatherwood brush is that I feel like I'm able to uh, detangle a larger amount of hair than I would if I was like using my Denman. All right, so here's my Felicia Leatherwood brush. Again, haven't detangled my hair. And I'm doing this in real time. <laughs> so as you can see, the teeth don't really oppose how this brush is advertised for it to it gives it has a it has some give don't get me wrong like i said i prefer this over um a demon brush it definitely has give but the teeth aren't opposing how one might think they would for it to be a, a um, flexible toothbrush and we good now i'm gonna do this back part I mean, that's a good piece of chunk of hair. Like, that's not like a little slither of hair. <laughs> you know, I, once I get through the bottom, again, it's not opposing. Once I get through the bottom, it's pretty much, you know, smooth selling. I don't have any major 
tangles. I'm not ripping my hair. And that's it. That's the thing, right, buddy. Now I'm going to go in on this side. Okay, I'm not going to use the little lock-in clip that it comes with. I'm just going to use it as is. No adjustments. Real time. See, now you can actually see the teeth moving in this. But some people might not like that. Like, as I'm using it, I don't know if I like how... It's like super opposable. <laughs> it's so opposable that one might think that their hair is being pulled or ripped. I don't feel like that. Like, I don't feel like my hair being ripped out of my scalp. But I don't know. Like, looking at it in the camera, <laughs> it kind of feels like you don't have control. <laughs> It's like I kind of want to go slower because I see the teeth moving so much that I don't want to rip my hair. I actually, I actually prefer that over there <laughs> so far. Okay, let's do this section. That could have went bad. <laughs> See, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> but um, it's like they're so it's so opposable, and this actually kind of puts tension on my wrist. Like my wrist is kind of tired from trying to control it. Even if I put my thumb behind it, like my wrist is feeling like a workout. It's actually not as smooth of detangling as I kind of was hoping for or expecting. It's taking a little bit longer. Wow, okay. My wrist is tired, <laughs> honestly. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this middle section. And I'm going to do the middle section with uh, the lock-in clip to see what difference it makes. And I'm going to put it on the very bottom one. <sighs> this is like, okay. <laughs> so there's little holes that this clip goes into. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, wait, it said the bottom, didn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, wait. If your hands are slippery, this is difficult. <laughs> this video is going to get sped up. <laughs> Okay, so now I have the, the lock-in clip in. I'm going to just do this front part of my hair just to see if it makes a difference. Oh, my lighting is awful. Okay, so, so this takes some of the flexibility out. Yeah, I think I like that better. 
which I didn't think that I would. I didn't think that the locking clip was going to be beneficial, but having some of that, having some of that control while also having some of that flexibility feels better. Okay, yeah, I like that better. <laughs> And then again, I'm going to use the Felicia Leatherwood on this little section here. Real time. Oh. That's it. Let's do tangled. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm uh, I, I can't even. I mean, the proof is in the put. <laughs> so yeah, pros and cons. Let's do pros and cons real quick. So, pros of the Felicia Le Felicia Leatherwood brush. It's more expensive, but not by that much. You know, twenty dollars. No. No taxes, free shipping. Cool. <laughs> um, the the teeth have some stiffness in it. It's not as flexible. Um, I don't know if I'm doing pros. Or... I'm just going to say them all. <laughs> pros and cons. Uh, the teeth are a bit more stiff. Not as flexible as the other comb. But I found through doing this that I think I like having a little bit of stiffness there. Uh, because you have some control. Versus it just being able to just move willy-nilly and then it's pulling too much um pros and cons of this one uh it's modifiable so if you're someone who likes that it moves so freely cool if you want a little bit more tension and control you have that option um i would say that i probably lost a little bit more hair uh before i made the modifications it depends on how you want to look at it. You're, it's, it's subjective, but to me, I feel like I lost more hair using this before I made the modification than I than I normally would lose. Um, so that's cool. This this little piece, though, it it gives you more grip, maybe more comfort. My wrist was hurting. <laughs> My wrist was hurting using this brush. So I don't know, man. This one's cheaper. Cheaper don't necessarily always equate to better. Don't always uh, equate to worse. Uh, this is all subjective and what you like and your preference. But if I have to pick, I'm going to go with Felicia Leatherwood. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all have used any of these brushes, this one, this one, the Curl Tastic Company one, leave your comments down below how you like them. Uh, if you haven't and you would like to, I'll leave links down below where you can go to purchase. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Like, comment, share, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.